Have you had a math test? As a teacher hands you the paper, you had no idea what to do, despite the hours of studying you did last night. Well, that one kid in your class speeds through the entire math test and finished when you haven't even put down your name. If you want to go from this to this, then keep watching, because you found the right video. This video is divided into three parts, problem solving, fundamentals and studying, and top 1%. Each step is essential if you want to become good at math. And the last step is the secret of why you clicked on this video and the secret to becoming a math god. So make sure to watch till the end. Problem solving. When you looked at a math problem, all you see is a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper jumbled together, and you have no idea what to do. It's easy to want to give up even before you try to solve it. Don't be intimidated by the numbers. Instead, take a deep breath and inspect the problem. Looking at the problem, the first assessed. Break it down. What is the problem asking me to do? What is the unknown value I'm trying to find? Grab a piece of paper and jot down your initial thoughts and any important information that comes to mind. Second, solve. Try your best to solve the problem. Remember, you are doing math not to just to get the answer to one problem, but to improve your understanding of the subject and fully understand this type of problem so you can do them in the future. If you tried your best and still cannot solve the problem, or you've tried but the answer is wrong, don't give up yet. You are only halfway there. So go to ChatGPT. Yes, you heard it. Use AI to get you the answer. But here's the important part. You're not simply using AI for the answer. Instead, tell ChatGPT the math problem and ask it to explain to you step by step on how to solve the problem. This step is essential if you want to understand math because math is made up of problems using specific steps to solve. Once you understand it, you can use it on any other problem with the same strategy. Read carefully over the steps and explanations of how to solve the problem. This way, seeing step by step tell you how to solve the problem and prepares you for any similar problems in the future. To strengthen your neurons on this type of questions, Tell the AI to give you a similar problem using same steps for practice and solve it. Then check the answer with ChatGPT and practice the same techniques until you've mastered this type of problem. What I like to do is write down the examples and steps to how you solve it in a notebook or a notes app on your phone. This way, if you come across a similar problems like this, you know what to do and you can just pull up your notebook and solve it. Using this way to solve and understand your math problems, you have not only learned the answer to that one question, but also understood the techniques and strategies to solve this problem to prepare you for the future. Essentially, your exams and tests are made of different problems, but many of them have the same steps and strategies in solving it. Once you remember how to solve it, you can solve all the same questions using the same method. Fundamental and studying. If you used the problem solving strategy and you still don't get the question, this might mean that you are missing some key fundamentals in your math knowledge. You see, math is one of the subjects that have many required and different steps that you have to learn in order to master it. It's like a game where you cannot progress without completing the previous level. In math, the list of levels or topics usually follow like this. You can't move on or do well on your next chapter without fully understanding the previous one. This means you won't do well on calculus if you haven't even learned the fundamentals and skills in algebra 2. To see if you fully mastered a skill set, you can take self-diagnostic tests online on websites like Khan Academy or just online quizzes to self-diagnose yourself. Don't be discouraged if you're a bit behind on the class's current skill set. This just means you have to study a little bit more than others and do a bit more catch-up on math. This leads us to the next topic, how to study math. 
If you want to see drastic results or want to build on your math knowledge, you need to put extra time aside every day dedicated to studying math. Yes, study math outside of school. This may sound a little crazy, but trust me, this is one of the secrets why some people are so good at math. Just like if you do a sport or a hobby, you don't just play a sport in gym class in school to become a pro basketball player, you practice it in your free time and learn from it outside of schools. It's the same for math. If you want to improve, you have to practice it consistently to become good at it. What if I don't have the money to find a tutor or go to math classes? Well, I got you because I don't either. You can self-study. You can use free websites like resources like CK12, Khan Academy, select the course you want to take and they're completely free. Plus, you have your own private tutor, ChatGPT. The key here is you have to do it consistently. You might see someone acing a math test in 5 minutes, but you haven't seen the hours they put aside every day to study and improve. You can't just study for one day and automatically become amazing at math. Dedicate yourself to study math. Put aside 10 to 20 minutes every single day to do math problems, read over your notes, and do space repetition. Doing this for a period of time will make studying math every day a habit and soon you'll find your drastic improvements in your mathematical abilities. Okay. If you completed all the steps before and you're pretty decent and confident about your math skills, but you're one step behind from being really good at math. So this is how you can go from being average at math to being the math god. To improve drastically at something, you have to practice consistently and have the drive to do so. This is where many people stop. Because once they get decent at something and can get that A with a little bit of effort, they stop learning and lose the motivation to do so. So to increase and create a drive, you can either 1. Love math. This is rare, but if you do, that's awesome. Or 2. Being a state of uncomfortableness. Only when people are in a state of uncomfortable position, they tend to change and improve. If you're too comfortable with math, you have to find ways to give yourself the mental challenge your brain needs in order to improve. One way to do so is try some contest math problems like the AMC Math, which is offers free practice tests online. This can give you an idea of what your level of good at math are you. If you're passing these tests a breeze, that's amazing and keep on doing what you're doing. But for most people, these math tests can be very challenging, even the ones who get A pluses in math at school. So how can you improve? You can either self-study math that is more advanced, like AP classes, or a grade or two above your current level I'm on contest math. The key is to find the sweet spot, proven by research to study 2% more difficulties than what you're already comfortable with, and increase the difficulty every single day, week, or when you feel comfortable with the questions. Well, in this video, we talked about how to improve your math skills, which involves problem solving, studying, and fundamentals. Remember, to improve your math, you have to keep challenging yourselves and pushing yourselves to work hard and do your best. It can be difficult, especially if you're self-studying, but I promise you, it is so worth it, and you should be so proud of yourself. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you in your next video. Bye!